Hello, I just wanted to do this little explanation, maybe slash tutorial just on using the header, using the chatbot in the header. So what I have done is um, I, I'm just showing you, first of all, I'm just showing you some file structure here. So this is actually the file that is going to go up to my server. And you can see that I've gone down to the one final sketch, which is pretty much the one that you guys had seen in the um, tutorial video. We're going to be focusing a bit on the index because that's where some of the real changes are. Because as soon as we start putting this into some kind of like a web type document, uh, if you remember, you know, the, the same sort of like sound flight, creative design template thing, placeholder. It's a placeholder for you guys as you're looking at what you're going to do for your final design. Like, how would you take this and do something with it? All of this is the same. I have done nothing to this. If you're, if you have questions about any of these, these I just left in as a grid for you guys to look at. Uh, if you were doing your own portfolio, ways of using our grid structure as a portfolio option, but also like how you can add, you know, um, connect like actual interactive, you know, P5 stuff. How are ways you can do that? Well, these are different ways you can connect to those things, right? like the same usual way of you being able to like connect to your to your project in different ways right so i just left those in there just um, so that you could see how you could use each of these as different ways uh in your actual um, grid structure right but we're focusing here just on making sure that all this fits correctly so let's take a look at our index and see so this header is a combination, sorry, not just this header, this HTML is a combination of the previous sound HTML and the chatbot HTML, where I've now added the different scripts for the Rive script that are needed. And I just kind of, I, I cut and paste all this chunk from the one to the other, but I have kept all of the other, like the CSS and the different um, uh, uh, um, font and text options, all of that are the same. All of the rest of this has stayed uh, the same. I wonder if, did I adjust? Oh, I know. So the last thing I had to do was in the actual sketch itself, I went in and I had to, in the setup, you have to create a let canvas, right? Instead of just declaring what the canvas is. And this is so that you can scale it properly, right? So this is already working from the previous one. And then this is really important. It's putting the canvas, right? Um, under the parent of the, of the header in your DOM. So that way it's going to put the canvas. This is so when you can't find, you know, where is the canvas in your HTML, it's because it's parenting it into the header tab um, or header div right of your um, in your HTML the rest of this sorry the other part that's going to be different is of course I mentioned this in the tutorial that you need to make sure that the there's a, a dot and then slash and then the name of your folder and then the name of your Rive files right so that's the only other change that's here the rest of this is is identical and cleaned up um, and so what, of course, you would need to do with this is you would need to compress it, upload it to your um, server. And when you do, it should work like this. So I've kind of debugged it, made sure that it's working properly before I've sent it out to you guys. But that header template will also go out. So you'll get this as a separate folder. So then you'll have the entire connection from the beginning of the chatbot all the way through to uploading it to your server. OK, and if I reload this. Hello. Hi, what is your name? My name is Steve. I will remember to call you Steve. What is your name? I don't know have a name yet. Just say your name and, and then the new name. Your name is Peanut. Maybe speak oh. close to the mic. Your new name is Peanut. I will remember my new name, Peanut. Do you like your new name? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and actually, so you can see this is something that's been happening a bit. It's interesting that it's been getting these a little bit wrong, where it's not putting the one up that's actually being said. So, 
But other than that, everything else is working really uh, cleanly. Hope this um, quick little tutorial just kind of helps get an idea of how to um, get your final design done. Okay, um, go have fun form storming. Have a great week.